<laughs> All right, guys, so welcome much. back to Life Short But We're Shorter, episode two. I'm Soph. And I'm Bella. And today we are going to be talking about breaking habits in time of New Year's Eve and making New Year's resolutions. Yes, we are. Um, well, let's get right into yeah. it. <laughs> we're going to talk about our resolutions. One that's literally right on the top of my head, I'll start, is school. And especially, like, right before finals, which is when we're filming this. Um, One thing I wish I would have done this semester is been a little bit more, like, strategic with when I did my schoolwork. Because, obviously, like, with volleyball, outside of, like, school, and I also need to, like do other things besides yeah. just school when I get home. Yeah, so. this is definitely a habit I want to break. It's procrastinating. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I mean, I was out for two weeks, and I missed all finals review, and now it's like, oh, if I would have stayed ahead, yeah, that's I wouldn't tough. be stressed. I mean, like, I think it's a lot of people. It's like, oh, I'm going to stop procrastinating. It's hard. It totally is. It really is hard. Especially when the material's not fun to learn. (laughs) Exactly. And before we get more into our New Year's resolutions and stuff, I found this, I heard this quote, and I want to share it with you guys because honestly, it totally fits with what we're talking about. And so it said, life begins where your comfort zone ends. And that is so true. Like breaking habits, it's a scary thing because you're so used to doing something and (laughs) interjection no but in all seriousness we get in our comfort zone when we're doing something repeatedly and so the thought of breaking that it's nerve-wracking but truly like you won't break it until you start you gotta get like I I think I talked about comfort zone last episode yeah like just you really gotta live in that uncomfortableness of something new because breaking out it's it's stressful because we're so hard on ourselves, like, we're just gonna cut it off immediately, like, no, like, make set small goals of how you want to break a habit, and then go from there, it's just kind of like with diets, too, you can't restrict yourself, yeah, like, that's that's a big thing, that's not the way to go, like, cutting, like, your body needs stuff, and cutting off food, like, that's not helping, like, treat yourself every now and then, know how to balance, and that's with life, too, with your goals, balance them, don't just be like, all right, I'm going to do all my homework and I'm going to study every single night because yeah, if it's not, not realistic, don't be so hard on yourself. That's you got, what I was going to say. You got to set realistic. realistic goals. Yes, of course. No, I think balance is such an important thing. Um, and it's definitely something I want to do. And speaking of a diet, some people may know this, but some don't. Um, I have absolutely raging stomach problems where if I eat anything that's literally terrible for you my stomach will hurt for a long time so I definitely want to like work on eating healthier Mm -hmm. and just making like my body feel good and like listen to it yeah listening to my body like I feel like definitely something I've learned quickly was that rest is okay and I think being an athlete that's like a little bit harder on yourself you don't want to give yourself rest days because you think that you're gonna get behind yeah you're not gonna be the best you can be which like that athlete competition mentality I think is one of the best and worst things yeah for you because a lot of things in life are competition in workforce Mm -hmm. in college like you are competing against other people for you know like the best grade for the best position But ultimately, you're competing against yourself on being that better person. Like, you're always going to be your biggest competition. And being a student athlete, it teaches you so much, but also can take so much away from you if that's all you focus on. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. at least from my experience. Like, I know a lot of athletes struggle with finding that balance of do I focus on sports, leave school behind, or vice versa. Yeah, 100%. I totally agree with that. Back on that whole diet thing, because that's one of my resolutions, is learning to have a better relationship with food, because it is a serious topic, and I've been more comfortable talking about my own experiences, and it's easy when you can't see us, and we're just voices out of your screen, (laughs) 
but it's hard getting that good relationship with food with your body and I know for myself I struggle a lot like I, I compare and that's one thing along with the diet and stuff is comparing yourself to people the only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself yeah being a better version yeah like of look at who you, you are today and who yeah. you want to be tomorrow exactly not in four years not like don't look in the past you can look back and like recognize things but don't live in the past like don't compare yourself to other people's progress because that'll get you down such a bad rabbit hole of just bad thoughts that creep in and they stay there and you don't want that and so for me kind of like tell my like the whole manifest and like affirmations thing it it truly like does help some people like just kind of telling yourself because your body will believe it and we all have our struggles but like I said I'm not just gonna be like I'm cutting off all junk food yeah I'm cutting off fast food chick-fil-a we're not having any of that it, that's not realistic and I should be able to treat myself if when I you want, want. <laughs> exactly I'm like if I want chick-fil-a like I'm gonna go I'm get gonna myself get I'm gonna go chick but I also right have to know how to balance that. Like, cutting yeah. myself off, it's only going to make me miserable yeah. in the end. And you don't want to be miserable. Yeah. Especially by yourself. Like, you don't want to make yourself miserable. Above mm-hmm. all else. Like, yeah. you're your biggest cheerleader, biggest supporter, but also your worst enemy. Exactly. <laughs> like, all of it. it it's, it's a tough all. balance. But, you know, on to lighter New yeah. Year's resolutions. No, mine is basically just a big, like, base of being more happy and balancing things in, like, different ways. So, like, I want to just, like, do more things that make me happy. So... Yeah, make you happy, yeah. not other people. Exactly. It's so... A, it's, I talked about that in the first episode, yeah, too. we're gonna like, hear it. It's okay to be selfish at times. When it comes... Course. Like, when it comes to your health, yeah. it is okay to be selfish. And you guys can be like, oh, my God, she's so mean. Yeah, but she said that. <laughs> But, but she's right. <laughs> it's true. Like, you deserve to do things that are good for you. As long as it's not at the expense of somebody else. Let me put that out there. Oh, yeah. As long as it's not hurting or harming anybody else, but it's making you feel good, then mm-hmm. do it. Like, I wanted to do a lot of things, and I told myself people are going to think that's weird. They're going to think I'm annoying. And a lot of it, like, stemmed from my own insecurities and... Mm-hmm. Slowly, like, once I got out of that headspace of, like, oh, my God, what are these people going to think? I'm enjoying them so much more. Like, some of you may know, some of you not. I love to make videos. And I was really nervous bringing my camera places because I'm, like, I don't want people to think I'm a Emma Chamberlain wannabe. Like, I'm a vlogger. Like, I'm trying to be cool. Mm -hmm. But I stopped caring about that because I can look back now and watch those and see how much fun people had in them and how much fun I had making them and just like other stuff like I'm sure Bella you have yeah. stuff where no you I enjoy. love doing that too I think that's something we both really on we love making videos but I had that same feeling like I was like oh people would like totally judge me if like I made videos and most of mine are private from my old ones but I think like, taking pictures is something, too. Like, not really a goal, but something I want to do mm-hmm. more. Taking pictures and videos. Document. Because you can look back and be like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm so glad I could remember this yeah. memory. Yeah. And, true. like, I don't know. I think that's definitely a lot. And you don't want to, like, fun. <laughs> if you are going to start, like, oh, like, yeah, like, I want to start documenting more. Like, whether it's pictures, videos, do not get lost in the moment. Yeah. Because one thing that I regret sometimes is I'm so focused on getting the picture perfect moment. Yeah. Or capturing other people's memories that mm-hmm. I look back and I'm like, oh, I wish I was a part of that. When I was, but I yeah. mentally. I wasn't there yet. I was not there. I was worried about the camera. <laughs> I was worried about what, uh, what was on the camera rather than what I was living in the moment. Living yeah. in the moment. Oh, yeah. That's that, it. That is something I want to work on. 100%. Yeah. I, and I started, like, this year, like, I'm like, okay, like, yeah, it's just, it's so important to live in the moment, whether you're by yourself or just mm-hmm. with a group of people, do not care about what's gonna happen in the, fu- like, future, mm-hmm. as long as it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too risky here. <laughs> we are in high school. <laughs> but, like, seriously, just living in the moment, I think that's so important, because you don't want to look back and be like, oh my god, like, I don't remember any of it, or, like, I hated it, or... Yeah. Uh, I could think too. We're in high school. Exactly. 
we have our whole life ahead of us. I feel like we get in a mindset of, like, I have to have the best years of my life in high school. Yeah. No, it's like, like no, the, be best, the best years are still coming up for us. Of course they are. You know, oh. like, high school isn't meant to be this place where we, like, stay in. It's, like, it's a place of growth. It totally is. You yeah. know? 100% and agree. Th- that is what we, as <laughs> the viewer, the watchers, the listeners, yeah. we are going to grow this year. Yeah, we are. <laughs> and I feel like there's a lot of things for me that I'm excited about. One, I'm supposed to get my braces off. Yes! And two, um, don't know if I'll pass, but I'm supposed to get my license. Yes! <laughs> so, you know, I think that's going to be something, like, really fun, is to, like, be able to go hang out with my friends a lot more, or, like, Something I love is just, I don't know, going out for ice cream, mm-hmm. like, at random days. Like, it's a Friday. Or, like, going to study and just stuff like that. So yeah. We all have, I'm like, excited. milestones coming up. Whatever grade yeah. you're in, exactly. we all have milestones that are approaching. Like, for me, my milestone is deciding what yeah. I want to do for college. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but it's also very exciting it for is. you, like, yeah. any, like, Freshman, sophomore, junior, even seniors. Yeah. This process will be probably one of those most stressful, but it's also one of those moments where you can look back and be like, oh my god, that work, that hard work really paid off. And then it gets exciting yeah. realizing that you're starting a whole new chapter in your lives, and it's something to look forward to, but to you underclassmen, do not rush it. Yeah, do that's not. something I'm doing. You hear it. Ev- <laughs> you hear. You will hear yeah. it from every senior, no matter what grade you're in. Is it goes by so fast. Yeah. And to me, I'm like, mm, yeah, okay. Like yeah. as a freshman, you're gonna be like, dude, it's three years. Yeah. I couldn't look. I feel like yesterday was my freshman year. Mhm. I it's it's insane how quickly it really does go, but we're getting off topic here. <laughs> It's okay. New Year's resolutions. No, it's still a resolution. It's still leading. No, I feel like there's so many, like, exciting things. Like, you're going to be going to college yeah. next year, and I think that's, like, something really exciting. But, I mean, high school does go by fast. Yeah. So that's something, like, living in the moment to just, like, enjoy. I was even thinking about that. Like, next year is going to be, like, my last normal, typical year because my senior year – For high school volleyball, it'll be, like, my last first home game or, like, something like that, which is absolutely weird because I sometimes still don't even understand that I'm a sophomore in high school. (laughs) So, You always want to be what you're not. Yeah, exactly. And I think there's something good in each stage of life. Oh, Um, totally. Especially, like, for me, being the youngest, oh, my sisters are... In relationships, getting married, and having cool jobs, doing things they actually enjoy. And, yeah. Also, another thing for next year Ooh, of school. Year. Yeah. Um, School-related, but the goal is to pass chem. And I want to do better in chem. I will give you my chem <laughs> notes, honey. <laughs> so, that is something that I want to do, for sure. Now that I think about that. Oh, my God, we never even told them. We're back together. <laughs> we, we are. are physically in the same room doing this podcast. We are. <laughs> we're working our way up one by one. Yeah. At first, we didn't even see each other. We were on <laughs> FaceTime, FaceTime, even though I could not see Soph. And then now we're in the same room, and eventually, hopefully next semester. You will be, in the, you will be virtually with us. You will yeah. see us. New in- Year's resolution. Get a mic. Get some materials. Be professional podcasters. Be no, some good podcasters. Another <laughs> resolution I have, it's the most, ba- I feel like it's one of the most basic ones that everyone says, and it never, I've, I, I, I don't even know if I should say it, because knowing me, and I'm not going to say it, because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> It's not, like, well, bad. I just don't know, like, if the school listens to this. And I'm like, um, oh, you should not be talking about that. You know, I'm just going to say it. Cussing. Yeah. I have the mouth of a truck driver. <laughs> I feel like everyone does. Some Respect. teachers are open, like, about them cussing. And I just think See, it's... I get too comfortable and I forget where I'm at. That'll be my goal is remembering my place <laughs> and knowing my audience. That is something people need, I feel like to learn 
yeah growing up like you really need to learn how to read the room (laughs) because it can get you in so much trouble and it's not fun getting out of it's funny in the moment but also (laughs) just i think this would be a resolution for a lot of people because i'm experiencing it right now and i'm like i don't want to feel this way learn how learn about embarrassment like things (laughs) (laughs) i i was embarrassed today based off of a project i had to make and it didn't turn out the way but then i'm realizing that things are only embarrassing if you make it yeah i 100 it's a hard mentality to get into but truly like if you can learn to laugh, like, people, learn how to laugh at yourself. Exactly. Like, Soph did an amazing <laughs> job at her project today, and it was only embarrassing if she made it seem embarrassing. Exactly. Like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I wasn't aware I had to present this, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually happening. But then I just learned that people aren't laughing at me. Well, they might, so might have been, but... <laughs> We don't want to think that way. We're positive people. <laughs> well, no, that's okay. People are going to laugh at you in life. And you got to learn whether you want to laugh with them or go the other way and get mad. Like, you can yeah. control your, like, people can control their emotions. You can. 100%. Mm-hmm. This year, people, we are going to just learn how to be better for ourselves. Exactly. Because I feel mental health is just so rough right now. Oh, 100%. Bad. Not even I just, agree. like, this season because, you know, seasonal depression. Yeah. Just in general, I just feel like the mental health rates are so high. Yeah. A like, lot and it, of people. And it keeps increasing, and it makes me sad. Because mm-hmm. I'm one that struggles with it. I don't know if you struggle with it. Yeah. I mean, I would... I've never been diagnosed, but I think there's struggles being anything. Like, a high school yeah. teenage girl. You're, there's like, struggles. Yeah, like, your struggle is your struggle. Yeah. Like, do not invalidate... We, we are not going to invalidate our own struggles because it might not seem as bad as others. Mm-hmm. We're not going to do yeah. that because then you're not letting yourself heal. Yeah. I had a big problem because I'm like, this happened to me and I'm really upset, but think it could be a lot worse for yeah, somebody else. Yeah, they had that something is, yeah, worse. Like, okay, true. but you're still feeling true, not good. You are so. allowed to like feel down for yourself, but like do not. We're not going to live in pity city. Mm-mm. We can visit it. We could stop and say hi, but then we're, really dri- we're driving right through, <laughs> and that is that. People, we <laughs> we are gonna be in such a good mood twenty twenty two. I am because I'm graduating. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's so exciting. Like graduating, going to a new chapter. Like last summer at home before college. Because I know, don't you want to, like, go away? Yeah. So, this will be, like, your last... I'm waiting to hear back from my last school. Yeah, which this is the, the time that all the colleges are... Oh, my God. You know, next Let episode, you know. we should talk about college stuff and, like, college prep, you know? Okay. Totally. Hey, guys, get look forward. <gasps> we totally should. Oh, God. We totally should. 100%. I like that idea. Like, um, wait, no. Okay, so you know how I literally just mentioned that I'm going <laughs> to hear back from a school? Their admissions office <laughs> literally just emailed me. Oh, that was just bad. <laughs> okay, wait, it's okay. <laughs> she didn't give me what I wanted, so. <laughs> it's all good. I got a month left, and then they'll send them out. So, we are good to go, people. That is good. Also, something I think... Uh, people forget about New Year's resolutions, or at least something that's worked for me, is starting them earlier than January 1st, because then you're like, oh my- Start now. Yeah, like, I literally, if I have a new goal, I don't care if it's January 1st, or Or like- if it's a Wednesday, or Thursday. Yeah, if it's a Wednesday, or like, a- The time to change is now. Yeah, like, why, why would you wait, and- I don't know, like, January 1st does not have to mark yeah. a new goal. You don't have to live with something that you don't like until January 1st. Like, that's just dumb. So I've definitely learned to, like, get my resolutions in now. Start them now. And don't expect to just be a brand new person. Exactly. I feel like everyone's like, I'm at January 1st, brand new person. No. No, you're not. You're the same person you were on December 31st. Like. You literally are. <laughs> and that's okay. Like, I feel like people are like, I need to be a whole new person. 
some people I feel like need to feel like they need to reinvent themselves which for some people yeah they feel like they need to but you should only just be bettering yourself Mm -hmm. not changing who you are just bettering yourself figuring out what works for you what makes you happy and you know never mind I'm not gonna say it (laughs) I forget my audience sometimes. Oh, it, it, that's okay. That is a New Year's resolution. Remember your audience, people. Of course. Um, yeah, I'm going to read a book a day. Oh, no. Oh, a book a day. A book a day. A book a month. Oh, I like Let's that. start a book club. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do for New Year's. Start a book club. You guys are all more than welcome I, yeah. to join. I think I enjoy reading wait, books. I think there is a book club at school. There probably is. <laughs> I enjoy reading books as long as they are not um, school related because those are always the worst of no, books to actually, read. No, actually, though, like, I, can't. I don't know if you're going to take AP 12. I can't. But <laughs> the books we read, like, on our own, they are so mind-changing. Really? Oh, my God. Like, it really just makes you think about life. And I love books like that that make you yeah. kind of question, yeah. what's the meaning of humanity? Like, I just wrote an essay on it. <laughs> yeah. And no, like, I, like, if you could find, just find something that makes you think. Mm-hmm. Thinking keeps you young and healthy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, if you take care of yourself, your body will help you. Your body will get you through. Of course. 2022 of course. is going to be a year for all of us. It's going to be awesome. I think as something. Ooh. Sorry. No, no, go. Okay. For something, <laughs> something that just came to my mind. Um, obviously, like, I'm using a MacBook to help me with my podcast. And my grandpa is on my home screen. And something that I've started more is, like, this is kind of sad, but, like, saying goodbyes or like saying things Mm -hmm. without waiting like oftentimes if I think someone's outfit's cute I'll be like oh they're gonna think I'm weird though for like saying that and like hyping them up too much but like or like giving them a hug like that literally has been I think something really hard for me like I haven't lost anyone in my immediate family but I've had like friends who suffered loss yeah like a friend who lost her dad and she, her older sister was off at college and didn't even get to say goodbye to her dad. She didn't even, like, think that something could happen and now he's gone. So I think something for me is, like, saying things, like, in the moment, don't wait. Mm -hmm. If it's a little word to uplift someone, then literally do it. Like, today, I was really struggling. And my psych teacher, um, apparently... I, I've been saying this all day because it literally made me so happy, but apparently I won student of the month. Yes. And she was, like, saying so many nice things about me, and so it kind of, like, uplifted my day. So, and then, like, w- back to my grandpa, I kind of got off topic to that, but I always, like, make sure I tell him, like, I love you or make sure that I'm giving him a really good hug as if maybe that's the last one because maybe his time has come. I mean... Yeah just i mean it doesn't even have to do with age like literally anyone don't take time for granted don't take yeah. things for like life <laughs> life is short yeah well, we exactly always, we always find a way to tie it no but yeah be the person you wish you had exactly that that's how i like to go about things because you don't want to be fake you don't want to be superficial mm-hmm. with like purposely going up to somebody and saying they look pretty to make yeah. you feel better yeah because as soon as you make it about yourself, it loses the value of and it. purpose, yeah. Because whether we want to admit it or not, we all want somebody to come with us and compliment us. Mm-hmm. Even if we feel like garbage and we're not looking our what we think is our best, yeah. we always want somebody to be like, hey, like, I'm thinking of you. Or, hey, like, yeah. you're doing good. A good, like, like text or we We want like that. that affirmation that we are doing okay. And that mm-hmm. things are going to be okay. And so start being that person. Exactly. For people. Yeah. Like, don't wait till like she said, January 1st, I'm going to start being a nice person. No, like. Start now. Start now. And with, like, the whole, like, turning them back around, like, breaking habits thing. It, like I said, it's hard. Mm-hmm. But you have to be willing to make that change. And if you fall back down, you're going to climb so much ho- higher. Yeah. Like, you can't let the bad times dictate how you go forward 
Every time you fall, that's just another step being created. I agree. I totally agree. And, yeah, last point that I want to make, if we're going to end on a funny note, well, I guess it's only funny if you're in LCTV, <laughs> but um, I want to be better at my skills in that class because... I definitely have struggled this semester with audio and... Time management. Yeah, time management. Um, I definitely let out a few tears, and maybe a few is um, underestimated. Crying is okay, people. Yeah, so let yourself cry. I definitely want to just, like, be better with my skills, because I have, like, a passion for, like, making videos and looking back on those to remember like, memories from high school, as well as just, like, creating the videos. Like, I love creating the LCTV episodes. Mm -hmm. I just sometimes miss the mark with um, some issues. So You're still growing, though. You're still learning. And if you find something you love, keep doing it. There Mm -hmm. are going to be days when you're like, oh, my God, the last thing I want to do. Yeah. Like, for me, sometimes I'm like, the last thing I want to do is look at a camera. (laughs) But then I tell myself, I'm like, you could take breaks. Yeah, like that's give yourself time to like regather. Mm-hmm. Like if it's truly your passion, you, it's not gonna die. Don't don't let it. Twenty twenty two. We are not letting anybody mm-hmm. ruin our passions. Not a chance. And even ourselves. We are not gonna let ourselves Mm-mm. be our enemy and go. Oh well, I'm not good enough, so I'm not gonna do it. No, who cares about your skill level if it's something you love? Yeah, like you you can be good enough then. <sighs> Work at it, people. Exactly. Because remember. Life is short, but we're we're shorter. (laughs) Well, I think that's a good place to end. So, I guess, thanks for listening and tuning in. If you haven't watched our first episode, make sure you go do it. And also, give us ideas of what you want to see. I know this is kind of like, I think, a little bit more of a serious start, but they're definitely going to get funny. They are. And if you want to be a guest, yeah, you can be, be our a guest. guest. You be can our be our guest. guest. Be our guest. Sorry. So no, that's okay. But that's Stop saying sorry. Me. <laughs> we are not apologizing for things that don't need to be apologized. <laughs> I was gonna say we shouldn't apologize for being ourselves, but like no, if you're like the toxic person, yeah, you, you need to apologize. apologize. Yeah. Well, that's all from me. So it's all from me too. We will see you next time. Episode year. three. Oh my gosh, next we will, year. We, you will hear from us next year. <laughs> yes, you will. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs>